All right, so uh, what, what she's going to do, I'm always impressed with this woman. Uh, she's, very, uh, she's got a lot of followers on Twitter. I'm easily taken by that. And uh, at Snow Kitten, she's a marketing person, a martial arts person. And she's doing something that the domain name industry has done very poorly. And that is about uh, talking about a major change to the Internet. So give it up, please, to someone delivering some very useful information. Melissa Daphne. <laughs> So the new internet is coming. Basically what this means is the biggest change to the internet in years is going to completely impact you, your customers, and how you approach the internet. Hundred, <laughs> hundreds of new TLDs are coming. That stands for top level domain. It's what's to the right of the dot. So in the beginning, there were six of them. Dot com, dot org, dot edu, dot net, dot mil, dot gov. But we need more. They're not quite enough. So we have ICAM, which is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, and they pretty much oversee the entire Internet. So they're slow, they're bureaucratic, and the decisions they make impact everybody, but there's a lot of controversy about whether or not what they're doing is in their best interest or everybody else's that they're serving. So they make these decisions, they impact you, and there's not too much input. So What's happening is a lot of brands have been very against this from the very beginning. They've been saying, hey, this isn't cool. I'm gonna have to spend thousands of dollars now every year trying to protect my brand that I shouldn't have to. These shouldn't go through. This came out earlier this month. Basically, ICANN has come out and said exactly opposite what they've been telling everyone. Because they've been saying, no, this is fine. You'll join the trademark clearinghouse. Your brand will be protected. It's not. This is a slide to show you some of the new domains that are coming out. There are so many TLDs, I can't even fit them on a slide. So do you think you're gonna be impacted by this? You definitely are. But there's gonna be some fun. So you have a bar. You can actually tell people that's what it is. You brew beer at home. Okay, so maybe you need a dot beer. You have a martial arts club. There's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Dempsey, one of my dogs. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, you can have a little bit of fun with this. You're going to be able to show some of your personality. You're going to be able to have a TLD that really shows who you are, what you are interested in, like dot .yoga, dot .ninja. All these are coming out. It's also going to be able to show people what your profession is. So dot .plumbing. Dot games, dot doctor, dot law, all these are coming out and it's going to tell your customer a little more about you before they even click enter. The problem is, okay, so this is actually why this is going to be beneficial to you. These are domains that sold earlier this month. So if you see malls.com, sold for $320,000 on the aftermarket. Who has that kind of budget for a domain? This is going to help you because it's going to help you with your domain name and keeping it short. A lot of the best domains are already taken. That's why there's an aftermarket. So you're gonna be able to get something that fits on, say, a matchbook. It's a great sign to show you that it's nice and brief and your customers are gonna remember it. That URL, look how little that is just to fit in on that slide. You got discovery.store, discovery.shop. Those are huge. That's really gonna have much more impact and tell people what you do. Problem is, is your customers are going to be confused. They're not going to understand what, you're type, what you want them to type in. Especially in the US, .com is king, and that's what people automatically type in. So say Nameless Tattoo Shop. He realizes, uh-oh, NamelessTattooShop.com is taken. Well, let me see what else I can do. So he, you're gonna, he's going to register one of these three that are on the top, and the bottom ones are actually what people are going to type in. Problem is, they're not going to find you. Customers are going to get frustrated because they think you don't exist. You're going to get frustrated because, hey, you just lost customers and money, and that's not a good situation. Problem is, is the registries behind these new TLDs set the price. So the prices are going to be all over the board. So jobs, that's going to be $159 for a year. Dot luxury, $750. So whether or not you agree with this or disagree, it's coming. 
it's here. You can already register some of these. But the great thing is, is it's wide open on what you can do with them. So definitely get creative, have some fun, and that's me. So thank you.